Mandatory minimum sentences for certain crimes may be a thing of the past. U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder announced that the Justice Department will no longer pursue mandatory minimum sentences for certain low-level, non-violent drug offenders. Uh, Holder also questioned some assumptions about the criminal justice system. Topics KLTV 7's Shaley Sanders addressed with an East Texas defense attorney and the Smith County Sheriff. Certain low-level, non-violent drug offenders who have no ties to large-scale organizations, gangs, or cartels will no longer be charged with offenses that impose draconian mandatory minimum sentences. It's an announcement that is receiving some praise by an East Texas defense attorney who says it's a step in the right direction. Congress doesn't trust federal judges to give appropriate sentences. If federal judges had the discretion to sentence as judges do in the state courts, we wouldn't have this problem today. Attorney General Eric Holder said the minimum sentencing for certain drug offenders leads to overcrowded prisons and excessive incarceration, something Smith County Sheriff Larry Smith says he's seen firsthand. The federal judges' hands were tied needlessly where they should be able, they're there hearing that particular case. You can't have a cookie cutter mentality where one size fits all. Holder said this will also address racial disparities. Let's be honest, some of the enforcement priorities that we have set have had a destabilizing effect on particularly particular communities, largely poor and of color. The United States sentencing guidelines originally took a hundred times more powder than crack cocaine to get to the same sentencing level. Uh, obviously, crack cocaine was something that was more prevalent in the black community and there has been a concern that the crack cocaine guidelines inappropriately cause more black defendants to be locked up. But Buck Files says he does not think that the criminal justice system treats certain races more harshly. No. If you look at the statistics, there are significantly more Caucasian defendants locked up in the federal system than there are either African Americans or Hispanics. In Smith County, Shaley Sanders, KLTV 7 News. The changes in sentencing are effective immediately. Holder also said the Justice Department is taking steps to identify practices for enhancing the use of drug treatment programs and community service programs as alternatives to prison.